Today I'm going to show you how to install a new solid state hard drive and some memory dims into a MacBook Pro. Nice and simple. This is simple. We are going to turn this over. First things first, we're going to remove these top three screws. They are a longer Phillips head than what the remaining seven are. So we're just going to take these out real quick. Next, we're going to remove the plate. Pretty straightforward, and this thing is nasty on side. Whew. All right, we're gonna nice anti stack. So, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna disconnect the power using a little uh, nylon lifter, if you will. I use mine out of my iFixit kit. Always disconnect power first. And that's undone. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to very simply toggle these out, there's these little tabs on the side. Take out the old dims, one at a time. Same thing for below. And then we're gonna put in the new ones. In this case, we're going from a total of four gigs of RAM up to a total of 16 gigs. So, pretty straightforward. We're gonna take, line up the little notch with the bottom one first. Snap in, push down. Same thing, top one. Push in, snap down, and your memory's installed. It's that simple. Next, swap out the hard drive. First thing you need to do is remove this tension bar. ready for later. Take this out just by the tab and we are going to unplug the SATA. Pull carefully, you don't want to ruin the ribbon or do any damage. Pretty straightforward. Then we're going to take this tab off. We're going to save this for when we install the new one. It's got enough residual um, adhesive on there to work on the new one. We're going to remove these with a Torx 6 screw bit as we will need these to go into the new drive. We are going from a 500 gigabyte Toshiba to a one terabyte, a terabyte Samsung Evo 860. Should be a lot faster. Now we just had to put the mounting pins back in. As such, nice and simple. We're going to take and reattach the tab. Just makes it for easy removal. Probably don't have to do this, but put it on here anyway. So it's on there again so for the next time around. We're gonna reattach this to the SATA connector. back in place, put the retaining bar back in, Make 
sure the power is reconnected. Now I'll put the case back on. Voila. And we have power. Okay, so the machine turns on just fine. Now we've got this, which means I need to format the hard drive. It's very simple to do. First thing we're gonna do it now, I'm gonna back up. Um, it's very simple to do under two scenarios. One is we could actually do, after this is uh, rebooting, a command R, hold that down, and then that will let you recover it through the internet for the install that this machine was intended on. However, I want to put Mojave on here, the most recent. So, I actually installed it on a bootable drive. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna power this off. And then we're going to come back Install this, start it up by holding down option. I'll show you that in a second here. And that will get us into the boot menu. We can format the drive and then we can install this. We'll be done. Okay, hit power. Now we're gonna press and hold option. And this will get us to the boot menu. Okay. It's gonna ask me to join a network, which I will do here. So what it's gonna do now is it's getting ready to uh, get into the disk here, obvious off this bootable drive. We're gonna get into disk utility, format the drive, and then we'll be able to finish up the install of Mojave. Okay, here we are at the desktop, or I shouldn't say desktop, but we're in the utilities. We're gonna go ahead into uh, disk utility. So we do have to format this disk. And we're going to, we don't wanna erase our, exter or our drive. We want to format this. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do an erase. We want to leave this as extended journaled. GUID partition. And we're going to erase it. We're going to quit disk utility. We're gonna install Mac OS. And it's this stinking simple. Okay, we've got this all ready to go, so we can give it back to its owner. Uh, they can go ahead and get their stuff set up as they uh, see fit. Um, hopefully today's video was uh, nice and short and simple for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that thumbs bu up button. If you didn't, you know what else to do. Um, hit that subscribe button for me, and we'll see you in some upcoming videos. Thanks.